Hey, this is Outdoor Guy 1215. I'm going to be making a knife review on the K Bar 7 inch United States military fighting knife. Uh, this is the United States Marine Corps one. Uh, so it comes with a leather sheath. Uh, it has a little lanyard hole on the bottom, which you can put like some 550 paracord through. Because you see that it is a longer knife with a 7 inch blade, uh, 12 inches overall, roughly. Uh, so it's about a foot long overall, so if you have it on your belt, it'll flop around a little bit, so you can just put some cord through there and tie it to your legs so it doesn't do that. Uh, the sheath itself is very nice. I've had this knife for uh, two years now, I think, one or two years, and you can see that the stitching on it has held up very nicely, and I haven't been too nice to the sheath either, uh, meaning I've tested it. Uh, pretty nicely. I mean all the stitching is holding up really nice and the leather it itself uh, You can see that there's some you know scratches and wear on there, but that's expected with any uh, Leather or anything like that uh, Has the Eagle Globe and anchor on it right There and it says USMC and K bar on it uh, To hold the nut. Oh also the belt loop very big so it'll fit on like a normal belt or like a military style pistol belt it'll fit in there uh the knife is held in by this right here it's connected in the back with like a rivet sort of you can see in there and then uh it just snaps just a snap like that it goes around and holds the knife in place like most k-bar knives or the ones that where you get the leather sheath i have an older hunting knife that uh, i showed in my TGO family traditions the response video to Derek Grebner uh, And that is a K bar. It was a hunting version uh, from a while back and had the same thing uh, So let's get into the knife itself As you can see this is the partially serrated version. Uh, I actually don't like that that much uh, It's not very effective in my mind and I think that you just lose that much of the blade then. So if you can, I would recommend getting a straight edge. But I got this for Christmas, so I didn't really have a choice. And I was happy with it too. I mean, it's not like I bitched about it or anything like that. Uh, these knives will retail around like $60, $70, depending on where you get it. Probably cheaper online. Uh, the blade has like that black finish on it. And as you can see, mine has a little bit of a wear on it, but... Any knife will do that if you use it. That's from batoning through wood. Uh, then when it came from the factory, it was a, it was like razor sharp, which is uh, pretty uncommon for knives. Most of the time, you have to sharpen them when you get them. Uh, on the blade, it says USMC on it. Then K Bar, Olean, New York. That's where uh, the company is. And then the handle is. Uh, wrapped leather, um, very, very um, strong. Uh, the knife itself is full tang. You can see on the bottom where it comes through. So what that means, if you uh, don't know what full tang means, the blade itself, uh, the metal goes all the way through the handle. And that's something that you really want to look for in a fixed blade just because um, it makes it a little bit stronger, less likely to break. Uh, and... As you can see, it's like wrapped like that, and then it has these little uh, kind of indents in it, and that I believe is for traction, sort of, or grip. And I guess if, like, I mean, what it was made for was fighting. So if you're stabbing someone, you want as much grip as you can get on it, and that helps you uh, do that. And then it has these little—I don't even know what they're called—but things that stick out, so that if you do stab something and you hit like a bone, then. Uh, your hand's not going to slide up on the blade. It stops right there. And that I like that because then you don't like accidentally slide your finger up there. Even if you're just like cutting something. Um, as you can see the back, the butt plate is very strong. I used it for hammering stuff all the time um, in here. Especially like tent stakes if I'm out camping. I don't want to bring a hammer with me or go out in the woods f trying to find a rock. This works awesome for that. Because it has some weight in the handle. So it's actually pretty good for pounding. And, I mean, you can see how it's kind of dented up there. But that's just from use. Uh, you can watch videos on YouTube of people pretty much just trying to destroy these knives. And they can't do it. Um, I think there was one where they finally did break the blade off. 
after you like put it in a vice and like put like 300 pound weights on it or something something crazy like that but just from use it's not gonna break these things are built tough um it also has the blood grooves i forgot to mention on both sides camera doesn't really pick that up Let's see if i can get some light on it right there you can kind of see it's just a cheap flashlight you can kind of see the blood grooves on there like that so um overall it's an excellent knife uh great for self-defense um i wouldn't use it for hunting really um like for gutting out deer it's a little bit too big i think probably four to six inches would be better for um like taking deer hunting to good old deer i think that's a little bit better because this is just a little bit too big not saying that you can't use it for that because you certainly could if you were stuck in a survival situation um you can cut through trees with this i mean there's videos on youtube of people doing that batoning is just awesome with this uh if you don't know what batoning is that's just splitting wood with a knife and then you hit it with another log on the end and it's just awesome i use it for that whenever i go camping i always baton it with the k bar unless one of my friends brought, brought like a hatchet or something but never do <laughs> just this is just effective um so multi-purpose which is something that you always want to look for in uh any of your gear pretty much because it has so many different uses kind of like paracord so many different uses so that this is definitely something that you might want to add to your kit uh something to carry <laughs> Um, once again, I did say that 7 inch blade from back here to up there, and then just about 12 inches, a little bit less than 12 inches, I think, um, overall, the whole knife with a handle. Um, but overall, it's very nice. Ha uh, the sheath as well. You can get Kydex sheaths, and then you can get the K bars that are all black too. They have different variations. And. This isn't the only good knife from K-Bar. All their knives are quality, and they're going to hold up for you. Um, That's pretty much it. I hope that I helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message, post a comment on my channel, whatever. Uh, I'm always happy to hear from you guys. That's pretty much it, and I'll see you next time.